So today we're going to talk about real estate. And when I say real estate, I'm referring to single family properties and smaller duplexes, triplexes. So last week I had to turn over my rental up on the South Hill. I thought it was going to go a little easier than it did. So today we thought it might be fun to talk about some of the pros and cons of real estate. And I have a lot of friends that are in real estate and I think they'll back me up that real estate is not always as passive as you would like it to be. Some of the pros of real estate, you get to utilize leverage, which also means you have a mortgage on the home, which is more widely accepted in real estate than it is in the market. If you put down 20% on your home and the rest is using a mortgage, you are getting the benefit of appreciation on the entire amount of the home and not just the 20% you put down. Whereas in the market, you are getting the benefit only on money that you have in the market unless you are utilizing debt in the market, which is called margin, going out on margin. One of the other benefits of real estate is that you get rental income when you're renting it out, which is a really nice thing because it's paying down that mortgage. You get depreciation on your homes, which a lot of the people uh, don't really understand but over a certain time frame of years, you're able to depreciate the value of the home, which is almost like uh, treated as an expense. Depreciation is usually an expense that goes on your tax return that lowers the amount of income, so it offsets your rental income a lot of the time to where you're not having to pay tax on that rental income, but you're getting the benefit of it paying down your mortgage again. But you also have to deal with tenants with rental income, which is one of the cons. Everybody is different, as I figured out last week, for turning over the rental house for the first time, and that renters that are moving out might not have the same cleanliness standards as those that are moving in. I also learned that the top of a stove is removable and you can clean underneath the burners. The new renters taught me this. It's okay, I should have known, lesson learned. Another thing that uh, is different with rentals is things can break. Things can break in the market but not to the same degree. If you have a new roof, your water tank leaks, your furnace goes out, these are all things that if you're not expecting can hurt you in real estate and you can go sideways very quickly. You can lose money in real estate, I guess is what we're trying to say at the end of the day, and it's not as passive as I would have hoped it is. So a lot of this in when you're investing, I guess, that like Tim and I have talked about before, is a trade-off. You've got time and you've got money. It's gonna take one of the two usually to get you some return. If you have time that you can invest into real estate and you have the ability to get a loan and to go and buy a rental, it can be a great situation. But I always tell people, don't get into real estate because you want to make a bunch of money, but you also don't have the time to commit because it's going to take some time if you own a rental home in the area. But our area is growing at one of the fastest clips out of anywhere in the US. I think they said Kootenai County was the fastest growing county in the US last year and Spokane was not far behind. So our current level of growth in the real estate markets, regionally at least, is at a pretty steady clip and not something that's probably going to be sustainable if you were to look at past appreciation rates of real estate in our area. So whether that means that we see a large pullback or that we stay uh, kind of stagnate and kind of our prices start to level off uh, is probably more realistic. But the one benefit of Spokane is we seem to lag most markets in terms of when we are actually hit. That happened with the market, that happens regionally with our businesses, and it happens with the real estate market here in Spokane as well. So I hope you have a little more information about real estate and just, it's mostly to be informative. Just know that it's not as passive as you like. There are definitely some benefits to owning real estate and there are definitely some cons to owning real estate. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. Maybe we should bring in one next time that knows more about real estate than me, but hopefully it was informative and you at least enjoyed it a little bit. Well, 2007, 2008 was not something that uh, was normal, I mean, for the market or the housing market. You think about the last time that we were in that long of a recession was the depression, 1930s. So for, uh, I mean, and granted that was, this 2008 was uh, 
not derived, but kind of came out of the housing market and how tied in it was with every other thing with mortgage-backed securities. And it doesn't mean that when values start to taper off a little bit that they will dive down like they did in 2008, but it could mean that we see a flattening where values aren't increasing, the appreciation, the gain you're getting on your home isn't increasing at the same clip it was over the last few years when we've been in a recovery mode. And uh, I mean, Spokane is in a nice position, I think, with the businesses that we have coming to the area. Uh, the Amazon announcement out in Airway Heights, there's good opportunity out there. I know the city's working on tax benefits for those that want to invest in certain things called opportunity zones, which are areas in our city that are usually lower income where they're going to have the benefit of deferring gain on their homes. So I'll stop there. It's going to get confusing, I think, if I go too much further into that.